You've probably seen that commercial on TV where the guy uses a white paste to seal up all kinds of things, including a boat. Well, we decided to give it a try and actually built a boat with it. And Stephen Fabian bravely took that boat on the water to see what would happen. He's at it again. <laughs> Phil Swift, the flex seal guy famous for taping together a boat cut in half, now says he has a paste that can seal up just about anything. A wine barrel gushing with water, a leaky hot tub, and even a boat put together with chicken wire. And the inside is completely dry. So will flex paste work just like the commercial? We're putting it to the test. We got some help from the Grove School of Engineering in New York City. Chemical engineering professor Raymond Tu, along with his students, helped apply flex paste to the boat. On the first day, they coated the inside of the boat with the paste. On day two, a good helping of the paste was smeared on the outer layer. Then on day three, the students checked for any possible leaks using a flashlight. Oh, stop right there. If light went through the paste, they sealed it up. On day four, the pace dried, and the next day, it was go time. We brought the boat to Lakeview Marina in New Jersey. Should I be worried, though, that it's going to sink? I don't think so. I think there's a greater than 90% chance that it'll stay afloat for you. So there's a 10% chance it doesn't. Then it was time to take the boat out for a spin. I'm on a boat made of flex paste. Please don't sink. Whoa. Big waves, here we go. So far, it's holding up. There's no uh, water leaking in. This thing's working pretty good. It does what the commercial says it does. You're a professor. What would you grade the construction and the performance of this boat? I'd give it an A. Next up, the leaky wine barrel test. Now that's a lot of damage. In the commercial, a cut is made in an oak wine barrel and water comes gushing out. Then Phil Swift plugs it up, not a drip. Would it work the same way for us? Yeah, just straighten it out a little bit. So we got a little help from master carpenter Jim Lupo of Lupo Construction in New Jersey, who built a replica of the barrel seen in the commercial. Go for it, Jim, let's hit it. All right, here we go. It worked. Ha! Look, no water. Perfect seal. It worked great. Not surprisingly, Phil Swift was happy with our results. What was your reaction to the tests that we conducted? Absolutely flex-tastic. Loved it. You had success, and I was really happy to see that. Woo!